Hello everybody, this is Adam here at A-Strings. In today's video, we are taking two Gretsch jets, pitting them against each other, and letting you decide what you think and whether one is worth the money or the other one is killer for the price. So the two guitars we're looking at today are the jet from the Electromatic range and the jet from the Players Edition. Now, both guitars are very, very, very similar. I'll go through the specs for you in a minute, but this video is all about pitting the two against each other seeing what the Electromatic can really, really do, and giving you an idea if you wanted something a bit more special, a bit more aesthetically appealing, maybe. Maybe you think this one is nicer. Ugh, I'm not going there. Then uh, we'll give you an idea of what the Players Edition sounds like as well. So here's some specs. First up is the G5220 from the Electromatic range. This guitar features a chambered mahogany body with a laminated maple top, mahogany thin U-shaped neck, with a 24.6 inch scale length. We've got a black walnut fretboard, 22 medium jumbo frets with a 12 inch radius, and our pickups are the black broad trance style. Next up, our player edition is the G6228, chambered mahogany body with a laminated maple top, mahogany standard U-shaped neck with a 24.6 inch scale length. We've got a rosewood board, 22 medium jumbo frets with a 12 inch radius, and our Tim Shaw designed broad Tron BT65 pickups. So looking at the specs of the guitars, very, very, very similar. You know, we've got chambered mahogany bodies, mahogany necks. Uh, we've got the laminated maple top. Different pickups, that's going to make the world a difference, especially in this kind of test, in this scenario. And different fretboard woods. We're not going to hear that. We'll feel it, and I'll tell you if they feel any different and what that feeling of the black walnut does with the guitar. Uh, aesthetically, yep, yeah, they, are, they are different. You know, we've got the age binding and age style with the player's edition, the old school logo as well. But the question is, is it worth four times the price of the Electromatic? That's what we're here to decide. So should we talk about chain? Yep. Yes! So, either guitar, straight into the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe Mark IV. That is the new one for 2019. And we are mic'd up with a 57 into our board and into Logic we're going to use the cleans and some crunches. There's a tiny bit of reverb on there, but that's it. What we're going to do is black out the screen from here down-ish, kind of there, and let your ears do the listening and uh, see if you can pick out which one is which. It'll be interesting, just a fun, fun game. You find out at the end of the video where it is. Skip there if you want to know, and then you can just listen back. If you want to play the game, let's play the game. Huh.
So there we have it. Those are two jets, both from Gretsch, two different price levels. What did you think? You know, with the player's edition, you definitely are getting the aesthetic value. You know, there's more hands-on you get in the case. You know, you're getting the, the old school styling, the aged hardware. Uh, it's, it feels different. It's a little bit lighter than the Electromatic. Obviously, each guitar is ever so slightly different. Um, it's a little bit lighter to play, but you really, really can't knock something like the Electromatics. I mean, even with the Gretsch Streamliner stuff, you know, the, the playability of stuff from that price point is, is crazy playable. So there's never, there's never an issue in our experience with Gretsch and their playability and their quality control and things. It's always been outstanding. And the one thing we did say when we were setting up the video is how good the Electromatic Jets looked, even compared to something like the Player's Edition. As always, there's a big conversation about the factories that these are made in, the Electromatics being made in China, the Player's Edition being made in Japan. As you know, the Japanese Gretsch stuff is very, 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 very good. So a big thank you to our YouTube viewer, Centrori, for suggesting this video. Here it is. I hope that you find the answers you are looking for. It's like Star Wars, isn't it? Find the answers that you are looking for uh, with these two guitars. We are A-Strings. We are a music shop in South Wales in the UK. Find us at... I said it weird. We are A-Strings. We are a music shop in South Wales in the UK. Find us at astrings.co.uk. Everything's on there. Our full stock of stuff that's in the shop. We've got a blog. We've got an Instagram. We've got a Facebook. That's A-Strings Guitar Specialists. Uh, we're there. Uh, obviously, we're on YouTube. Uh, we've got a podcast, the A-Strings Guitar Shop podcast. That streams everywhere. I think Apple Podcasts is our most popular one, but it's on Spotify, it's on Podbean, Chromecast, all of the things that you normally stream podcasts on. We're there, and we do the video podcast that is on our YouTube channel too. If you like the video, just give us a thumbs up. If you subscribed recently, thank you so, so much for subscribing. We've had a huge bump in subscribers recently, and we are really, really humbled and really grateful and thankful. So thank you very much. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, jump on board and click the little bell button. It'll let you know when we do videos. They're not that often. You're not going to get spammed every day. Trust me, if we could make videos every day, I'd be in here making videos every day. So that's it for me. I have been Adam for A-Strings. We'll see you in the next video very, very soon. Bye-bye.